Hello! It's Erica from the 10 Minute Body. How are you doing? Today, I will tell you the secrets behind every single successful diet out there. Exciting, right? So, you probably have had a period in the past where you've been on a diet and you've lost a bit of weight. And then you come off the diet and you put the weight back on. And a bit more. Disheartening, right? Um, okay, your success wasn't down to the diet. The diet that you did, whether it was the stupid ketogenic diet, the 5-2 diet, which in itself is, is all right, I quite like the principle. Um, or, oh God, there's millions of diets. I just don't even pay attention, uh, to, attention to them because they are a lot of crap. So grab your money and laugh on the way to the shop. <laughs> We've fooled more and more people to do in our diet and now they think it's fantastic because they're losing weight. And then, then, then you stop and put it all back on, okay? So not great. I don't like diets in their traditional format. Fad diets, juice diets are the worst or anything where you're not allowed to actually eat food or where you're starving yourself, horrendous, boils my blood. I hate, I hate them with passion. Please don't do diets where you need to starve in order to lose weight. It's not good for you. And before I tell you the secret behind every successful diet, I will tell you why you always put that weight on afterwards. This is scientific shit, so, you know, people normally, I don't know, don't like to listen, whatever. But now you have to listen, I've got your attention. So, you're going to diet, okay, you lose weight. Problem is, you've lost it a bit too quickly, and whilst losing weight, you've not been very clever about it. Um, so, instead of losing just body fat, you've also lost lean mass, your muscle, okay? This is not a good thing to lose your muscle. Your muscle is what keeps your calories burning so that throughout the day. The more muscle mass you have, the more calories your body has to burn because it, it takes more energy to, to, to maintain muscle than it takes for your body to maintain fat mass. So as a result, you lose weight, you lose some lean body, lean, lean body, lean body weight. Um, and this means that when you have stopped being on that diet and even if you return to eating exactly the same nutrition exactly the same calories as you did before going on this diet you will end up that tiny bit heavier or maybe it's a lot but you'll end up heavier because your body doesn't burn those calories as efficiently as it did because of that lost lean muscle mass i hope that makes sense because this is really really important okay so this is why it's good to exercise whilst if, if you lose weight, you don't have to, um, but you just need to do it sensibly. Okay, so now to the secret behind every successful diet that's ever made you lose weight, that might make you lose weight, is, drum roll, drrr, calorie deficit. It's as simple as that. Every single diet that makes you lose weight puts in a calorie deficit. The most clever one of these, and these are, you know, it's, diets are kind of, I do, do like, diets that make you eat a lot of vegetables, okay? Uh, or a lot of, you drink a lot of water. Things that are good for you. Um, these are the good kinds of diets in a way, but they're also a bit misleading because people get confused. Like, people tell me, oh, you know, like, I've, I lost weight, but I ate so much more than I'm used to. And it must be because I'm eating more food. Mm. No, the reason is that you're actually filling yourself with nutritious food. And because of all the fiber in your vegetables, things you're having, it makes you feel much more satisfied. So it basically keeps your hunger at bay. So, you know, you could still not be ready for your next meal because you're still stuffed from all that water, all those vegetables, all those foods that don't have many calories in them. So then you sort of falsely think that you're eating more than you used to, but you are in quantity, okay? Because when the food doesn't have that many calories, you can eat tons of it. Whereas if you were to eat, um, you know, like 
black Snickers bars, then it's very many calories in very little space. You think you're eating more, but in calories, you're still in a calorie deficit. And that is the bottom point of it. Bottom point? But bottom line, but I'm from Finland, what do I know? <laughs> I can't even speak my own language, can't speak English. I can't speak any language properly. But as long as I can convey my ideas properly, that's all that matters. As long as you learn something, this is all that matters to me. So every single diet you've ever done, right? You've been in a calorie deficit, meaning you are eating less, fewer calories than what your body burns in a day. And that is the reason for every single successful diet. There you have it. So I have this see this thing that I follow, that I do, that is the lifestyle of all of my, I can't say all of my clients, but you know, this is what I teach, is what I call the freedom diet. It means you can eat whatever you want um, and still lose weight if you want to. So all you have to do is track your calories on a on a, on an app like MyFitnessPal um, and then you will lose weight if you're in a calorie deficit. It is as simple as that. And you're not denied of any foods that you like. You can eat whatever you want, you can drink whatever you want, and that is just the beauty of it. I would always encourage you, you, you to eat foods that are good for you because they make you feel fabulous, they, you know, mm. affect your skin and your everything, your whole system, make you healthier, make you live longer. But if you're in a calorie deficit, you can lose weight whenever you want. Just start logging and people who say oh come on it's too much hard work you don't have your priorities right if you want to actually lose weight you're going to log and you're going to be successful and you're going to thank me later because then if you start to put on weight again you just go back to logging and then it's just all sorted thank you very much for watching this video i hope it makes sense if you've got any questions please ask them in the comment section below if you have any comments anything you like anything you'd like to know more about same thing, put it in the comments section and I'd love to be of assistance. Um, give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it and make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can keep up to date with all of the stuff that I release from now on. Uh, make sure to press on that sort of bell thing as well so it gives you notifications every time I upload a video. Um, and like I said, thank you very much for watching. Um, you can share the shit out of this video if you think somebody might need this answer to this question. But otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Lots of love and lots of calories, right? See you later.